Our block is excited to collaborate with Pace Verso uh, because early on, and I mean like really early on, before all of the crazy stuff that happened last year with NFTs or even with art blocks, uh, I was introduced to Mark Klimscher. He sat down with me and was willing to hear about art blocks and learn about it and introduced me to some artists. The possibilities were pretty endless and I felt like Mark Glimsher and, and his team embraced it pretty early on. And I, you know, that's something that I'm just really excited to pursue now. Really what Artblocks achieved and achieved very rapidly was to kind of crystallize it being explicitly generative. You know, I've kind of set out to elevating generative art to the level of any other art practice in the contemporary art world. I really want to make sure to give artists, to make artists on our platform that are generative artists and people that have dedicated themselves to this type of work, uh, elevate them as the hero status that they deserve to have. Dozens of artists for whom art blocks have delivered like very significant support who can go on and, and devote themselves full time as professional artists to making digital works. So it's a sort of, um, it's a kind of a new, new hybrid space between contemporary art, generative art, um, and let's say, um, you know, art on the blockchain. There's a lot of people in this world that probably don't feel comfortable walking into an art gallery, but there's this beauty with NFTs in that they're accessible to everybody. And I'm particularly excited about anybody being able to enter into um, dialogue with the artwork, regardless of whether they own it or not. It's a distribution system, but it's also an exhibition system because people come to platforms like Artblocks from all over the world, and they are affected by culture through the browser. John Gerard is such an awesome fit for art blocks. I mean, to begin with, he's a digital first artist. He's a digitally native artist that has decades of experience creating these programmatic simulations. John Gerard's Art Blocks project represents all of the countries in the world programmatically generated as oil spills, uh, continuously undulating on the screen. Each country's outline is represented by a border of, of an oil spill. I found this little drip of gasoline or diesel on water on the ground and photographed it. And it's become a very defining image for me because um, you know, it's very alluring, it's very, very beautiful, very attractive. And at the same time, it is toxic. So Petronational is a new uh, NFT project. Each one is corralled into the shape of a nation state. And really, I wanted to sort of like talk about nationhood much more in terms of purely energy. Most fundamentally, it addresses how globally we consume 100 million barrels of oil a day. It's such a big number. And I don't find society speaks enough about energy and nationhood. So in the last year, um, my production collaboration has shifted from using the game engine to using what's called WebGL, which is a game engine which can reside and be rendered in the browser. So you open your browser, you open the work. And as opposed to historic media, such as like movie files, uh, these are worlds. So they're both spatial, you can look around them, you drag in the browser, you look around. Uh, and they're also uh, temporal. So, and really the most exciting thing about WebGL for me is that it connects with this radical new distribution system, which is the NFT world. Thin film refraction algorithm is like at the absolute core of this work. It simulates millions of rays of light which traveled through um, this, this simulated thin film and are broken into this prismatic um, language. We looked very closely at the phenomenon of iridescence. You can set the thickness of the film within the algorithm. And the thinner it gets, it becomes, it, its qualities change radically. It becomes more ghostly, um, more melancholy. And the underlying you know, endeavor is, of course, to move the public. This is an art project. You know, it's a project which poses um, questions about conditions of consumption, politics and energy. I'll put it out there and we, we see what kind of dialogue it generates. If, 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 if people are willing to acknowledge that this 100 million barrels a day is uh, extraordinary. And did they even know that? 
I just am very interested to speak about the nation state as a petro state. There's a beautiful opportunity here for an artist from the contemporary art world to bring some a little bit more political commentary to the platform and uh, make some statements that I think uh, are welcome in the Arpalux ecosystem.